it's something that we would want for every Filipino. As I mentioned, there were more than uh, were a thousand, a lot of thousand islands in the Philippines. <laughs> and and right now, the challenge is how, again, how a farmer or a fisher folk can actually have the fastest access to innovation. But also at the same time, before I go to the AI, we also want our policymakers definitely to be aligned with this vision in implementing, to your point, a, uh, a program, a healthcare provider a program that is actually conducive for this innovation or a even AI to thrive. Because sometimes the challenge is that we are so fast in our innovation, but then the environment is not conducive. It's sometimes even restrictive. So I think that's also very important uh, for us for that to happen and also have a provision for an easier public-private partnership to happen. Because uh, when it comes to AI, I think some of the laws in our regulations are also not updated. And we want to continue to safeguard the patient's welfare. But also, how do you find the right balance? I think that has been clearly demonstrated in the pandemic. You know, this open communication, the agility that we did, the resilience that, that we had in terms of communication, dialogues, and the laws that were that were there that allowed for these innovations and partnerships to happen. So yes, in the future, we want to see more of that, the, the artificial intelligence. Of course, AI will never substitute human connection, but it will help us accelerate the delivery of healthcare closer to where the patients and the families are. Mm -hmm.